I had just gotten off a plane uh, flying from New York to California to Los Angeles. I got off a plane about an hour here before they, you know, flew into the towers. And uh, uh, so my wife uh, was very concerned that I might have been on one of those planes. And uh, she was getting phone calls from all of her friends saying, well, I understand Barry was flying this morning, blah, 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 you know. But I got off and, and I phoned her and everything was fine. But we lived, we lived upriver a little bit. We lived up in the Hudson Valley and you actually could go down to the river and look down and see the smoke and see all that. It was, uh, it was, it, it was a horrible time to be able to be that far away and witness it. Uh, uh, but not feel the gut wrenching, you know, right in the middle of the tragedy. It was slightly um, just you, you were one step removed because you were like seeing it in a movie from a long shot, you know. Well, at Spin City was a series that shot in New York for the first first four years with Michael J. Fox, and I played the mayor of New York. He played the deputy mayor, and uh, right in the beginning of our fifth year, we moved to California, and Charlie Sheen took over for Mike, and um, that's when 9-11 happened. It was our first year out here in the beginning of our first year, and um, uh, so we no longer were using New York City as a backdrop. We were just talking about it because we were shooting in Los Angeles, but when we were in New York, it was uh, it was another character, a real character in the piece, and we were out on the street a lot, you know. And uh, uh, Mike, because he lived there and loved the city, you know, he got us out as much as we could get out. And um, uh, I played a kind of mayor who was uh, a bit opposite from Giuliani. Uh, I was a bit of a fool, but uh, a fool who could get things done, you know, if he had to but a sort of a spoiled uh, Connecticut kind of uh, a rich, you know, boy um, who was uh, pretty much controlled by his staff, um, which is just the opposite, I think, from Giuliani. I think he's the man that nobody controlled, you know, and uh, he was, uh, and he stepped up, you know, stepped up to the mound uh, uh, on 9-11 and, uh, uh, really showed, uh, I think, showed the world how tough and how strong and how resilient New Yorkers can be. Well, I think l a lot of show business had to make a really quick choice. You know, either you, either you used it in your storylines, uh, but you didn't want to look like you were, you know, dancing on a grave. And so it was, uh, you had to be very careful. And, and Spin City consciously said, no, we're not going to, you know, exploit this in any way. And, uh, and in fact, during our opening credits, uh, the Twin Towers w w was in a shot of the opening credits, and they cut that from the opening credits so that there wasn't any reference to it at all. Uh, and they just wanted to try to stay neutral uh, and, f and, and keep the stories neutral and uh, so that they there wasn't any residual effect from the tragedy, you know. I mean, when a city like New York is a is a is a target city, is a bullseye city, you really there are so many other things that were potentially funny that happened between the people in the office that we didn't we didn't bring the city into the office that much, even the last two years. Uh, uh, but it was a conscious choice, so, uh, and I think it worked. You know, uh, Spin City was like a parallel universe. Uh, it was sort of, you know, it was the funny part of New York. And well, yeah, I think we had a role to play in terms of consciousness and in terms of raising money and in terms of just putting our faces out there as a, as a magnet to. Uh, uh, is better the situation, you know, in any, any way we can to support the families or, so, you know, um, help with the, the, the cleanup in every way but physically going out there and doing it. And um, I know that uh, we all got involved in the charitable side of it. Right after it happened, as you know, uh, the air 
ports were shut down and there was it three days or something the, the, nobody could fly and um the re and then the issue after that was everybody was afraid to fly yet nobody wanted to fly because everybody thought that it was going to happen again and there was going to be so um uh we a few of us uh, gary david goldberg who was the producer of spin city because he knew some of us lived in New York and had families in New York, he he hired a private jet to take us back home so that we could be with our families pretty soon after 9-11, uh, within days afterwards. And, um, um, uh, and I will always remember that, that he you know, got us back to our home and uh, so that we could be of at least solace to, you know, our immediate family uh because there was a lot of fear and anxiety and uh and being away it's hard to work that far away you know we were away two weeks out of the out of the month three weeks out of the month you know maybe we were home every third weekend or something well you know michael was out here shooting an episode of uh, spin city right during 9 11 and he was frantic to get home and uh uh I don't recall how he finally got home, but I'm sure he hired a, a plane, too, to take him home. And um, uh, God bless him. Mm -hmm.